Hi, my name is Greg Scott. And I'm Lemory Rollins, and we're here at Swing Fling 2015. <laughs> this uh, workshop was, it's all in the hips. All in the hips. So we started off talking about um, kind of using a natural figure eight motion. When you walk, your hips kind of swing and kind of rotate in a specific way as we walk naturally. Um, and we can incorporate that into our dancing as well. So our figure eight is a cross. So you want to take your, you want to make sure that you're hitting the corners. There's an X that will kind of happen in between the uh, figure eight motions. So you want to start with your hip at the top corner. You're going to scoop it kind of around the corner to the back corner, and then you're going to cut right across the middle to make this weight change. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side, around the corner to the back, and then shift to the other side. It's important that once you scoop around to the back that you don't um, dissipate that angle. You want to keep that angle all the way as you make this next weight transfer so that uh, you can start at the top of the uh, top of this X over here. Or keep in mind symbols. that our infinity symbol. I don't know if you're going to see it in this pants. My knees are kind of uh, relaxed. Uh, relaxed, soft, and also they are kind of underneath my hips trying to avoid letting yourself roll to the outside edge. There's a lot of strain on your knees, allowing your feet to kind of... To have, uh, like, uh, what? <laughs> so as you as you uh, scoop, this leg is going to soften so that I can take weight onto it. My my free leg is now straight, but my supporting leg is now soft. And then again, as I scoop, this naturally wants to to kind of soften, and then I send again. We did this in our triples, so kind of taking this figure eight motion, so triple step, triple step, triple step, triple step. Triple step. And we took a similar thing and went into kind of a pendulum swing versus a figure eight. So we were thinking about, uh, you can take this? Uh, so we were thinking about uh, basically if we tried to make the way that uh, old time swing went or single time swing, triple you have this, I'm sorry, triple swing, <laughs> you have this pendulum effect thing with it. Even if you went tap step, you want to tap, swing, tap, swing. And we basically just add that to our normal triples and make sure that we're accenting the up part of cool. our That was feet. very important. Same thing in the figure eight. You want to make sure all the um, accents are relatively, the uh, motion level. is relatively level. Um, right now we're accenting up with the pendulum. We're accenting up. Make sure that you don't allow yourself to drop down because this gives a really bad broken line. Um, same thing in the figure eight, try not to drop a hip as you're scooping around the corner, try to keep it relatively level. There'll be some natural kind of dippage that happens, but it's not exaggerated. Dippage? <laughs> dippage. Look that up. Um, and then we talked a little bit about, uh, since we were talking about the hips, we talked a little bit about accenting uh, upbeats, which is a two, four, six, and eight. And we talked about triples, but we don't need to go into that right now. <laughs> but uh, so you're... Um, swing or your swoop or your figure eight part is going to be when your feet are apart and there's going to be the upbeat. So down, up, up down, up. up. Um, and finding that upbeat and making sure that we kind of accent that and pulse that um, gets your leader always able to connect back into you on an upbeat versus trying to find you on say an anchor or trying to connect before, uh, right before one. It kind of gets us back together before we actually start our next pattern so versus into it. We're trying to uh, put the natural pulse that happens in music into our bodies to help keep a better time. Right. Cool, awesome, thank you very much. I'm Greg Scott. Lemmy Rollins. Cool. <laughs> Dance Jam Productions.